Now that we've got the create user wizard on the page, we'll add another step. So to do this, I just type less than what we want as a wizard step. And then I'm going to actually go and grab the code from my, my website. So I've got some code out here that will, uh, you know what, I'm just going to grab the whole wizard step. So this wizard step adds another step to the wizard. And if we look at this a little bit, and again, we've got, we'll go into detail this, and if you want to look at one of my other tutorials, video tutorials, but um, some important things here are that we uh, have an ID on this. We have the on activate. We, here's the function or subroutine we want to call when this wizard step is activated. And then when the wizard step is finished, when it's deactivated, we also want to call this subroutine. Then we'll put a little bit of text in here that says select one or more roles for the user and we'll have a list box that displays the roles. And that's it for this wizard step. But then it's really important that we also come in here and find the VB page for this one, the add user VB, and we put the code in those two subroutines. So again, I'm going to go back out to my website and grab this code. So this build role list, this is the one that puts, goes out and reads the roles at our website and puts them in that list. You could put these in by hand in that list manager, build radio buttons or something else if you wanted, but I'm just showing this code in case you want it. And then this one, when the subroutine is, f or when the wizard step is finished, it's going to call this assign user roles code. And this one goes through and says, let's go and again see what's selected in that uh, list and then we will use this roles object add user roles method and we'll put the user in the roles so anyway it's pretty much copy and paste this code to get this to work but let's show you how this works now with the extra wizard step in here you know let's go uh, finish this you know what, we need to load this page from start. We kind of got halfway through on this one. You know what, I'm sorry, let's just close it. Start completely over here. It was already halfway through the wizard. That's the reason we were getting that error message. Okay, so when we start this create user wizard, it asks us for somebody here. Um, And then, so here we go on the next step. Oh, crap. <laughs> um, sometimes you get this. Let's see if this works this time. Oops. So here we go. So this is the next step. And we can select one or the other. But let's say this one's a manager and finish. I think we're going to have to come back in and take care of this. So we should catch that error that we saw there too, but we got a little bit of finishing up, cleaning up the work to do on this create user wizard. But that's basically it.